Welcome back. Yes. <laughs> Did I do it right? Yep. Okay. Should I be like, what's up? No. <laughs> no. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am with, you noticed that I'm not driving. I have a permitted teenager. Sound like some weird permitted? No. She has a permit, she can drive. She's not 16 yet. I am paying attention to the road, by the way. She does a very good job. I'm having a hot flash. Two days ago, it was about 10 degrees in Michigan. It's now 37 degrees, and we just wanted to do it with ourselves. So we took a trip on a Sunday to Salon Centric. And I don't know how it is in your area, but your Salon Centric may already be like this, or may soon. You see back there, those Kroger bags. Now you need to bring your own bags to Salon Centric. I think a lot of people are hating on that, but really, if they're trying to save the world, just let them do it. Second, um, you need to bring your card in every time you go in, and so they can tell it's you. You know, we complain all the time about everybody letting their brothers, mothers, cousins, sisters, boyfriend use their card to get their stuff, right? So now that helps eliminate that. So anyways, with the Salon Centric, Elena here wants to be a platinum blonde. Right? Is that yes. what you want? Yes. Okay. Yes. With the shadow room. And she's naturally a level eight. You've seen other videos I've done with her. Just so I don't even know how long ago it was, a year and a half ago. Yeah. Did a did a brunette. Yep, now you wanna get over and look at when you're yep. Because they should have not pulled out in front of you like that. But you know, they do. She has hair goals. She would like to be a pretty much a platinum blonde. Now since I said she's a level eight nine, she is definitely a good candidate to take to did I mention it was no makeup? Sunday. Well, it should be pretty easy to take her to a platinum blonde. Here is a couple of her gold um, pictures that she would like to try. She wants to do a global application as an all over and we'll just see. I'm not sure. I'll go through step by step the process that I take. Might be a while. Didn't think I'd spend my Sunday at the salon but I told her have to do a video on her if that's what she wanted. So she's good with that because she also had a perm a couple years ago. She went brown, then we lightened her back up, and now she has about eight inches of regrowth, and we'll just see from there. So if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Right down there, it's really easy. It's 45 through here. And I will have more coming out to you. So as I can, 2020 is the year that I'm going to be updating my channel as often as possible. Weekly, possibly twice a week, depending on the week. Here is what we are starting out with. This is her natural hair, probably the first four to five inches of the regrowth, that's her natural level. And the mid shaft here is, you know, it's, it's lightened pretty good last time, but then towards the end had her old um, color there. So there's her regrowth, here is her mid shaft where it looks nice and light. And then you'll see here underneath, we have some old brown to take care of. That brown that you see in here, especially right underneath here, I did a really heavy highlight before, but I left underneath, she has a lot of hair, so it takes forever. You can see that old color is still throughout there. We are going to take care of that today, but I have to be careful about over-processing and overlapping what we highlighted before, because, I mean, like I said, she's had a perm, she's had dark, and then we went lighter, and it was highlighted before also. So, the hair that is already highlighted on the ends here I'm going to try the best I can to not overlap, but I want to get those dark bands removed from her hair. But in this video, I'm going to show you my technique that I use to do that. Now, before I even begin her color, I am going to remove the buildup from her hair. She, we have well water, she has used, been using purple shampoo. You know, there are things that can build up in the hair that make it more difficult for the lightener to break through. And when you are going this lighter, Attempting to go this light, you want to make sure the hair is clean as possible to make it make sure that the lightener doesn't have to work as hard. Okay, this is it for the Malibu. I'm gonna throw on some of the One United. 
to help even out her porosity and easy for her to brush out. There's no reason for it to kill and it is okay to have a little bit of protection on there. I am beginning underneath and for two reasons. I'll get to those in a moment. Right now I am only weaving out the brown, the lowlights that I see, and I'm only going to apply lightener to those areas without really touching the new growth. And my lightener formula is Blend Dimensions with 30 volume and Olaplex. Now I'm starting underneath one because if it processes and gets done, it's easier to rinse out first if it's ready to go by the time I'm done with the front. And also because it is darker underneath there. I have obviously you've seen in the picture when I was showing you her hair that there is more dark underneath. Again, weaving out the dark pieces, trying as best as I can to not have any of the blonde in there. Of course, you're gonna have a few strands here and there. That's not the end of the world. Now applying my lightener, using this board, the short boards really help, flipping it over to make sure both sides are saturated, and then I'm going to fan it up into her natural hair color, which is perfectly fine. That way there's no band and it blends in very well. Now each section is going to have its own story. You can see right here where it's pretty saturated with brown and as quite the band. So I'm just going to weave that out as well as I can. It'll be mostly blonde so it's easier for me just to go underneath and pull the blonde out while keeping the dark in my hand. Then just saturating the crap out of it with lightener. Make sure you push it in there, flip it over, saturate it again, and sweep it upward. But pretty soon here my pattern is going to start changing. Now the blonde that we left out is really golden so I actually have a new formula. It is Olaplex added into Blonde Dimensions with 10 volume. Just applying it to the brassy-ish yellow tone and let that sit. And this is all in open air so I'm not worried or concerned about damage. Alright now pattern is changing just like before. I am weaving out the Brassy blonde, which is kind of yellow, it can be lifted up a little bit more. And I'm going to apply this part is the 10 volume on the blonde dimensions again, and then I'm going to set that aside and set it to one side. That way, I can apply the blonde dimensions with 30 volume and Olaplex to the low light, always fanning upwards to blend it in. I repeat this pattern all the way up to the crown. Okay, once I'm almost done, I decided to lay a foil down underneath and um, over top to incubate a little bit of heat. I'm comf As I see how it's lightening, it's a little bit slower than I want, so I'm going to add a little bit of a heat conductor to help with that. So as I get towards the top, you can see where it's quite a bit lighter, where I've heavily highlighted it more before. And I only needed to add it in some spots, and I'm adding a foil over this part. Now I'm going to go back and apply more lightener because obviously we're doing it from roots to ends but I want to make sure I can control the ends first and make sure I can get that old color to budge before I decide what strength of lightener I want to use for her new growth. On the sides I begin to change it up a little bit. I don't have to worry about weaving out the dark pieces because I did such a heavy highlight before that there isn't much. It's just kind of a brassy yellow so I'm just applying Blonde Dimensions with 20 volume this time and Olaplex. However, I'm not applying it to the very ends. I'm leaving those out because you can see that they just don't need them right now. Um, they're already pretty light. And I do use foil because I do want some heat incubation. As I move up the side of the head to the top, I am bringing the lightener up further because I am fine with it. The virgin hair and the yellow hair, it's pretty much going to lift pretty evenly because of the virgin hair being virgin and the yellow being old color, they're pretty much going to need to have the same processing timing. And because of that, I'm actually going to apply the lightener as I would if it was a virgin application, which is leaving out zone one, applying to zone two, and leaving out zone three. Now, I am very well aware that you guys probably think I am all over the place right now, and that's fine. That's because I am. But... I always take in the head of hair into consideration and how I do my technique. Each section may require its own technique because of how of timing or what's going on. Like obviously the back has different dimension as opposed to the front. 
but I promise if you just bear with me and watch what I do, then you will understand. It'll all tie together at the end. All right, after I finish it, applying it to the right side, and before I begin on the left, I just want to check and see how the back is doing. You want to periodically check and make sure that your lightener is working, that you don't need to add any added strength. I would prefer to start with the lowest. I feel like that would work. And then if I need to add a stronger one to go from there. But it seems to be doing pretty well. So now I am actually going to go through and apply zone two because what I don't want to happen is that the, the ends are already processed and I haven't applied anything to the mid shaft yet. So I want to make sure that I apply that. That way I can rinse. It doesn't matter. If I have to rinse out the back before I'm done applying the front, that's fine. She just has so much hair that this is just how I had to do it. Now, you might not even be able to tell from here, but like she probably has some of the thickest hair I've ever had in my chair. And I don't know where she got it from because she sure did not get it from me. And that is why I have this in fast forward because it just took a long time. And I use so much lightener on her, it's not even funny. And I do add foil here and there just because I do want some incubation. Now as soon as I am finished with the back, I do go right back to the right. I don't even start on the left yet. I know, crazy, right? But she's processing pretty good down there. And again, if after I high rinse out the back, then I could, if the side the right side's done then I can rinse out the right side while I still let the left side process. Yes, baby girl is getting tired, but how does she think mama feels? <laughs> you know, it's some quality time we could spend together while she looks at her phone and I play with her hair. But in reality we did talk a lot and we had some good conversations. So this wasn't like it is the whole time you have to figure this has been like almost two hours that we've been here so far. We did the Malibu, I let her you know, had the mailable in her head for the full 45 minutes, you know, so that took a full hour. Then there's blow dry time, and then there's this application, which took a while. So it's definitely a process. Something like this, whether they have a ton of hair like my daughter or thinner hair, you're going to use quite a bit more lightener than your average highlight. So make sure that, well, one, you have enough, and two, you're charging accordingly, and it's going to take more time because there are more steps. Now moving right back around to the back and checking on that, seeing how that's doing, adding some of the, oh by the way, the formula that I had just used was 30 volume because um, I obviously want it to go a little faster, so that's fine. And I'm not running it through the ends. Now here, I am, you know, it's weakened some, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through and refresh the lightener that is getting weaker by this point in time. This has probably been on for... Oh, I can't even remember this has been so long ago, but for at least 20 minutes, if not longer. And, you know, when you're mixing, even though this is 30 volume, it's weakened a little bit. And you're applying it to more weakened lightener. So you're really probably, I'm going to assume it's about a 20 volume strength. Now back over to the right side and applying it to zone 1 and 2. And also on the scope like I just did in the back. Look at that mess I'm making all over her face, the poor girl. <laughs> this was quite the job. Wait, before you get on me for having her under the dryer, it's actually on really, really low and low heat. And on these settings, it feels just like you're sitting next to your heat vent. Here's when she's all done processing before I go to rinse it. I do not remember how long she processed for, but it doesn't really matter how long she processed for. If you're going to do this on a client, you just need to process them how long they need to process for. And her scalp did just fine because I didn't use any higher than 20 volume, but I do use Luke or warm or tempered uh, temperature water to rinse because I just it soothes the scalp. To make sure I remo removed all of the lightener, I use Undo Goo to shampoo, and then afterwards I use the Brass Off Shampoo by Matrix just to help begin tone, the toning process. By doing this before the toner, I feel like it makes the toner not have to work as hard and it helps counteract the yellow tones already so you get more of an ashier look rather than the ash turning into a more of a neutral result rather than an ashy result because there was so much warmth left over. Now she is very very yellow obviously and she has some lighter spots and they're just going to be all over the place. You cannot do a service like this and not tone them. And no purple shampoo does not count. Maybe you have some clients that can do that, but I just feel like it's just an unfinished product if you don't add some sort of glaze. It's like sanding a piece of wood and not staining it. 
I know it's a weird comparison, but that's the best way I like to explain it to my clients and to you guys. I'm first going to start with her root shadow. I am using 5N, 7N, and 7NA. Here are my measurements. We actually wanted to do a deeper root. I was scared to do too dark on her and it ended up not being as dark as I would have liked, but it still looked fine. She has that type of hair that's just stubborn, so you have to pretty much use like a level or two darker than you want your end result. And I do realize I did pre-lighten her first, but because I her natural hair color if I did not open that cuticle and lighten it it would not have taken the color at all and I stretched this root shadow just down about an inch then for the rest of our toner I use equal parts of the 10N and 10BB in the shades gloss and I am really liking the level 10s I'm excited about them and actually today I just went to the store to salon centric and I just got some of the mattes to try they have I believe there's I got I got 9m and 7m so I will try those and see how they do they are actually a blue green base as opposed to the neutrals in the shades glasses are a violet base so I guess the mattes are like I said blue green base but with no red in them at all as you know neutral has all the colors all the all the um, pigments, you know, mix in there to make a neutral tone. Well, these mattes have none. So I'm thinking they'd be perfect on somebody like me where I have a hard time getting my hair. I just always, I have a level 5 hair, so it just pulls brassy anyways. And I have a hard time even neutralizing it with an N and adding a little bit. If I add ash to it, then I feel like it's just too drabby. So I don't know. I'm going to try them if you want to see me. Maybe I'll do a video on getting my hair done. If you'd like to see that, maybe mention that in the comments below. Um, and I will definitely uh, do a video on that. Well, I hopefully won't be doing my own hair. I'll have somebody do it for me. Maybe we could um, visit Jamie's salon again and have her do my hair this time. I, If you remember her in-home salon, I did a video on doing her hair. I will link that right here. If you guys would like to check that video out, we did actually the... Shades Gloss 9RB as a low light and with, with her highlights and that turned out pretty. This process for the full 20 minutes. Now as a process I checked to see how everything was melting together and make sure there was no missed spots. Now we were in such a hurry we didn't even dry her hair there so a couple days later I finally got a picture of her hair. So you can tell the underneath is definitely not brown anymore. It, um, it turned out really pretty. She's really liking it. As you can see, the smudge root didn't work as dark as I wanted it to be, but here's a side-by-side, -side, so you can definitely see a difference in the tone, and she's just, it's just more even. Well, hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something new. I know I get very technical in my videos, and I hope that doesn't turn too many of you off, but I think it's very important to get in it as to not just what I'm doing, but why I'm doing it, and the steps that it takes to do all these techniques that I show you guys. I've been doing hair for 20 plus years, so I do know a little bit, but if there's anything else that I haven't put out there, just comment below and let me know that you would like to see. I do have more videos coming out and I have more that I will be filming and I'm really excited to do that. So make sure you subscribe so you know when I do put more out and if you did like this video please please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me being able to put these free educational tutorials out there for you guys. Go check out some of my playlists and I will be back again soon. Bye!